Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. I've had to stop the tractor here because it was getting very close to my bales, which really, I, I don't want them to go flying, which they will do if a worker crashes into them. I've actually had some really good suggestions on what to do uh, to prevent this from happening. One of them was to put the scarecrow there, and you wouldn't have thought it would work, but actually it will do, because the worker refuses to go up to the scarecrow, so if it was actually blocking uh, the, the route to the bales from the field, uh, technically, it shouldn't ever crash into them. So that is a good consideration for the future. But the other thing is to put a fence around this concrete area, which will probably look better than having some random scarecrow, but yeah, the scarecrow is still a very good idea. So I'm just going to finish the field myself, as you can see, because the worker is not trusted. And then that would be a very big field of oats put in. For some reason, the worker has missed a tiny bit over there. So I'll go back and finish it and make sure everything is perfect. And then, yeah, in a few days' time, it's going to be ready to harvest the oats, and that's going to be a massive income, plus more bales because of the amount of straw that will come off here. I do need to also fertilise it as well. Today, I'm hoping to buy a new tractor. I say a new tractor, it's actually going to be a relatively old one. Well, relatively old, meaning about 10 years old maximum. Um, but it's so much cheaper than buying a brand new one with zero hours. So that is my plan. It might be that I can't even afford a used one, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, first of all, I'm just going to very quickly get this finished off. So this farm has got to the point now where it has expanded very nicely, and it is going to continue to expand until I move the series over to the next map. As mentioned, what I'm going to do is transfer the machinery. What I used to do in 17 was actually sell the machines, and then we would appear with three, three to four million pounds at the beginning of the next series. I'm not going to do that, because it looks like I'm cheating. Uh, I have very legitimately earned these tractors, I've bought them without cheating, so these are just going to transfer over. The fields will be sold from this map, and then the money from the sold fields will go on to buying the fields on the new map, whenever it may be. Probably episode 60 will be the final one, I don't know for sure, but that is what I'm thinking. I think 60 episodes is going to be enough for this map. It's a very good map, but I know that... Um, yeah, it would be nice to try out some other stuff too. Of course, what I might do is put a vote in a video and essentially say, when do you think I should finish? And then just have three options. 60 episodes, 65 or 70. I don't think I'd ever go above 70, but I could have the vote. Almost finished. I need to go and basically drill all the pieces which have been missed. There's a very small strip over there and I've missed a few pieces here. That's the corner done. Now back over here. Yeah, so that is going to be built up. When when the bales come off this field, this beet store is going to be built up to be quite a large thing, actually. It's going to be a really big store. Um, because I'm actually going to do something extreme. I'm going to drill this entire field, or plant this entire field, with sugar beet. It is a big field. For sugar beet, it's absolutely huge. And hopefully I can afford two beet harvesters at the same time. Um, I know they're very expensive, but even with one self propel one, this field would take a good three hours, I thought. Because it's, well... Is it similar to the size of fin number 12? It is, yeah. That took me three and a half hours in real life, so... I think it was three and a half, yeah. So <laughs> that would be a very big job. You would have thought two would condense it down to, well, I suppose about two hours, just to be uh, on the safe side. But, yeah, it, it's going to be quite a job. But I look forward to it, because it's going to be such an impressive size. I've never actually had such a massive pile of beet piled up in the yard that's what there's going to be just in front of the shed there within the bales it's going to contain an absolutely gigantic pile of beet which will eventually be sold but it can also be fed to pigs if I get some pigs I'm not too sure if I'm going to uh, unless of course the price is extremely good at the time for sugar beet and it just gets sold straight away but chances are the amount which I sell will obviously reduce the price because of supply and demand uh, so yeah it's going to be it's going to be interesting it's going to be very interesting that is the next crop. After the oats, that will be the next crop. Anyway, I am done here, so I want to really get another tractor. I'm going to have three tractors. I'm keeping the Ford. It's just a very popular tractor to have. I like it. And uh, yeah, I need to have a smaller tractor anyway. The John Deere, which I'm going to buy, is going to be a 79 something, I think. 7900 series, not too sure. I'm not very good with John Deere's. The model numbers confuse me, but I, I've known Matty Ferguson ones very well. Right, there we go. But no, it's not a good enough excuse to get another Matty Ferguson. I'm sorry. Sorry, Matty Ferguson lovers. 
it, yeah, I have to get something else, otherwise it's going to upset my viewers. Let's go and buy the, I think it's £85,000, which sounds extreme and it will only leave me with £15,000, but it isn't because I have £200,000 coming in tomorrow from the horses, so we're going to be alright. Here we are. Right, so it's in medium tractors, interestingly. I did think it would be in large tractors, but it isn't. This one here. Look at that. To me, that just looks like a, a really good tractor with potential. Uh, it came off Mod Hoster. I'll put the link down below. I can't afford too many modifications, but I can afford to go up to my £100,000 bank account balance because I have nothing else to buy, I don't think. And like I say, £200,000 is coming in tomorrow, so that's fine. I'm going to go with... Michelin and wide tyres, yeah, wide tyres. 7720 is the current engine model. 7820, 7920. Uh, okay, I can afford all three if I wanted to. One of each, obviously. No, no, not one of each. Just one, <laughs> just one in total. Uh, I'll go for. That's 214. That's 234. That's 197. 197 isn't a massive upgrade. So I'm going to go for. Happy medium. 7820. There we go. Let's buy it. 32 mile per hour gearbox. Sounds good to me. Here it is. Uh, so yeah, it's it's an older it's an older model. It's not brand new. But it's certainly good enough for the farm. And its first job is gonna be to spread some fertilizer, which you can do because the crop hasn't germinated. So there's nothing to destroy. I don't think you can put narrow tyres on, unless you can do with the Trelleborg tyres. It's another consideration, I suppose. But I'm only going for this, for the fertilising job, because <laughs> I want to use it. I would usually use the Ford, but then again, this field is quite steep, so having the extra power is going to be very beneficial. Because no doubt you've seen over the past couple of episodes that I've been struggling. I need two tractors which are high horsepower. I had to put the Ford on the baler, which didn't go down too well. Okay, that is half full. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with these tyres because I can do. As soon as it's germinated though, it'll be a different story. I will start from here. Get it unfolded. I think it's going to be wide enough to spread to the edges. Uh, yeah, just about. Oh, I'm, I'm swerving already. I need GPS. Can't wait for GPS. Yep, that's working very well. So this is going to be a bit of a long task, and I might have to refill, although actually no, I have 4,100 litres, which is going to run for a long time. But I do have the money to buy some more if I need to. Which I probably wouldn't have had if I had bought the uh, 7920. So I'm very pleased I didn't. This is a very capable tractor. And for those who are fans of John Deere, well, hopefully you like it. It's not a base game one, obviously, but it's still a good tractor. So, let's get it done. Okay, there we go, it's all done. Didn't consume too much fertilizer. Uh, so yeah, it's now time to do a general checkup on the farm. But I don't think there's much I can do, so it might be time for a sleep. I've been awake all night and all morning doing stuff, even in the previous episode. So I, I'm turning nocturnal. It's kind of got out of control. I need to, yeah. Get back on track. <laughs> I've, I've broken the rhythm. I work during the day, at least I'm supposed to. But that is a good tractor. I really do like it. Just park it in there. That's good. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at these animals and see how they're doing. They're fine. Good. They are requiring a clean. And they are requiring hay. 
So overall, very good. I will actually go and tidy the sheep's area because that can quite dramatically affect the productivity, I believe. And that's obviously a lot of money which could be wasted. So, yeah, the Ford tractor is the one with the front loader. I have some wool pallets here. Uh, interestingly, how many wool pallets do I have over here? Because they're going to have to be sold very soon. Ah, it's almost full. It will be by the morning, the next morning. There's my mess, which I have been very gradually tidying up. In fact, I would... Yeah, I'll move the bells together. They can all go to the side. Actually, that can stay here. Ah, that, that was not supposed to happen. Yeah, the bales go together. Eventually, they'll all be shredded into the horse's paddock area. Now I'm crashing into it. I shouldn't have put it there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we have some rapid hydraulics here. Next, I need the bucket. Uh, which I have conveniently lost, which is no surprise. I, I always, always lose stuff. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think it's just over here. Because no doubt they're going to need scooping up around the back of there. That could have come out better, to be honest. Yeah, just here. Oh, whoa, almost flipped my tractor. This is a good day. This is a very good day. I have had numerous accidents. Potential accidents, luckily. Yeah, they're not too mucky. I don't know why it was registering as only 50... Was it 50%? I can check. It is 50% for a bit of spilled grass. It seems extreme. So you can have that back. You can have your floor food. I will clean the chickens, even though they really don't need it. It just keeps the productivity up. There we go. 32 litres. This bunch over here are messy though because there's so many of them and they have so much uh, food in the trough. That's possibly full. If it is, I'll put this into the other trough. Wow, it's quite easy to <laughs> actually do a wheelie. Yep, that's full because I'm just tipping it back on the ground which is painful to watch. So yeah, I'll try and put it into the other one. Again though, it is full. I hope they do take it, because it would be very helpful for me. Uh, that's full as well. Okay, so clearly the, the chickens don't eat their food very quickly, because I filled these troughs up a long time ago. After a good sleep, though, it'll be a different story. Things will have been consumed, and things will have been produced, which is always a good sight. Right, good night, or, yeah, strange time to say good night, but good night anyway. Yes, I am. I'm feeling a bit sick, you know. This is not nice. This is a bit of a roller coaster. Wish those two would just calm down. Right. They're on. They're off. They're on again. Stay. Oh, now the game actually understands that I am tired. I can go to sleep. 12 hours after I wanted to. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so I need to move these wall pallets. They are. All full, as you can see by the message. Has that been swinging all night? That's been really at it, hasn't it? Let's, uh, yeah, let's just get these onto the trailer. This is a very good tool for it. I've only just noticed the rear wiper on the tractor. Oh, and the front wiper. Nice features. Yeah, so that is a lot of wool. I'm going to try and pick up all of them together as it becomes lighter. That should work. Actually, I might just slide them a bit close together first. That's not going to work. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. That's all four. I think we're going to have to go back to a slightly more realistic gameplay here. The last two minutes of the video have been a bit crazy, I have to admit. Uh, I'm going to revert two at a time. Nothing crazy about that. I do need to move the trailer though. This rain's getting heavier. What a horrible day. Very good for the field though. It's been fertilised and now it's raining on it. As you can see it's germinated. So it's looking very good. Oh, would you two just calm down? There we go. Of course I do know how to use this tool properly. I'm just messing around. So uh, yeah, I think once the time is actually the best. It really makes it more controllable. Although you can do too. And there we go, that is everything loaded. 
I'm hoping the price is good because I want to go and sell these. The two which are in the garage are actually on the trailer now as well. Um, as I demonstrated with the, the jumping of the pallets and stuff. So that can stay there. Uh, I now need to check... Why did I get my chainsaw out? I need to check the price. Put the chainsaw away. I really do hope it's good. I'm looking for wool. It's not good. Okay, so they're going to be staying on the trailer for a bit longer, unfortunately. It would have been good, though, to get the money in. But I'm not desperate. It's fine. So what can I do on such a, a miserable day? I was expecting better things here. Wow, that's grown rapidly. What crop growth am I on? I thought I was on slow. That could have gone better. I'm on normal. Well, that is very fast, then. It must be some kind of magic rain. I didn't have time to do a second application of fertilizer, which I'm quite disappointed about. That has gone from nothing to fully grown. Yes, it is fully grown. That is amazing. Well, uh, that means in the daytime, no, sorry, not in the daytime, it is daytime, believe it or not. When the rain stops, I can start to harvest it. I want to get the harvest done very quickly because I really want to do, I, I really want to start the beat. Very important. We've, we've got to drop the beat. Look! No rain inside. This is a nice achievement. Rain? No rain. You wouldn't think it would be so exciting, but it really is. Um, after all the versions of Farming Simulator where it's been continually raining inside the nice, secure, dry buildings. I'm going to go and put my feet up and wait for this rain to clear off. Hmm. This looks comfortable. I'm going to sit on here. I really can't keep this up. I feel like a nesting chicken. So let's take a look at the clouds and see if it's going to be clearing up anytime soon. Bit of blue sky over there. Bit of blue sky over there as well. It looks like it is clearing. I would say it is clearing. This is good. It's clearing from that direction. Well, I'm going to get set up, ready for the harvest, because we can start fairly soon after it does stop, which is good. Not very realistic, but it's still good for me. Uh, the trailer, thankfully, is nice and dry. So what I have to do is reverse back into the shed and attach. The combine's dry too. I did need to move the trailer anyway because it's way too far over to the left. It needs to be put to the right. As you can see, everything's crammed, just crammed in here. And uh, yeah, there's more space there. So, yep, yeah, this rain is definitely stopping. I did put the flood lights on the back, the work lights, there we go, better. Yep, so that's a much comfier seat, I'm going to sit here instead, instead of perching on the back of the mower. One thing I can say for sure is this is the most persistent rain I've experienced on 19 so far. It's been going for some time, and it's looking like it's going to be too wet to harvest today. Far too wet. It's just not stopping. It just keeps going and going. Although these clouds aren't looking quite as bad, so that's that's a good sign. <sighs> yep, I'm, I've definitely written it off for today. No way are we starting harvesting today. It's now going dark. Um, yeah, I'll close this door. Because it's just ridiculous, really. So, better luck tomorrow. Let's go to sleep again. Good morning everybody, welcome to a very nice day. I feel like I'm starting another episode, I might as well be. So yeah, let's just grab the combine harvester just here. Well, not really grab it, it's not really possible to grab a combine, but yeah, let's just jump into it. Well, not really jump, let's just climb into it and get it ready. So I have uh, the trailer already attached, as you know. The head of trailer is mm, actually still closed up, it's in here. I think I'm going to use the... I could get it out of the combine. But I'm not going to. I'm going to use the tractor, the Massey Ferguson, just to pull it around. And yeah, this is, again, another opportunity for me to demonstrate why I need two high horsepower tractors. Firstly, it's a fairly big trailer. The Ford can pull it, but not properly. Uh, certainly not properly at all. And yeah, obviously because a higher horsepower tractor needs to be on that, it means that that tractor is then taken up and it can't be on the baler and I'm going to be baling at the same time as the harvesting so that is why, that's one of the reasons why I need two higher horsepower tractors 
not only that, but I also do need to have a drill going as well at some stages. And yeah, at the same time I could be needing the baler still or something like that. So I really do need to have these these two tractors, very importantly. So let's start. I'm going to start because I'm not having the work of driving around here. I think for today, this is the only piece we're going to get done. Tomorrow, the whole field will be finished, including the baling. Uh, I'm not going to say that I will finish the moving of the bales because that's going to be quite a job. But hopefully, hopefully I will be able to. So there's the straw. Very good straw. I'm now dropping out the back the material required for the beet store. Now that's recycling. There's my pond. Very good pond. In fact, I still have some oats just on the ground there. They need to be picked up. They must be very wet now. Uh, I'm sure the horses will eat them still. I'll have to just give them to the horses and hope they like them. All I need to do is get as far as probably one combine's width beyond the bales. Then it can turn around without crashing into them. If it did crash into them, at the moment it's not the end of the world. Um, well, it never would be, but yeah, it wouldn't be a huge issue since there's not much of a structure there. But if it ever crashed into the bunker when it's all built, I would be quite disappointed because it's going to take me a while to build. And then, yeah, I need to start filling it up with the sugar beet. Can't wait for that. It's going to be really good. I hope. I need to, this is my plan. I'm trying to make sugar beet harvesting a bit more exciting. It never seems to be that exciting in the game. I don't know why, really. I suppose it's just because the, even with the big self propelled harvesters, the working width is so small. It's like the, the size of the big beet harvester is about the same size as the smallest combine harvester for a cereal crop. That should be fine, because when I set it off over there, it's going to be clear of it. And I was just thinking, actually, if I was to... I need to save the game first, but if I was to use the terraforming to raise the ground up here, I wonder what would happen. Like a barricade. It would probably look a bit strange, that's why I need to save it first. In fact, here we go. I think when it says saving content, that is the main save. But I'll do it again, just in case, in case I really do have to load. So here we go. Um, this is likely going to go badly. Uh, right. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's horrific. That is horrific. I think I'm going to stick with my viewer's idea of putting a fence in. <laughs> Look at that. Try bailing that. That needs loading fast. Whew, please, that's gone. That was a real eyesore. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Next time, the whole field is going to be harvested and baled. And like I say, I'm going to be baling at the same time as the, the workers going to be planting again. I need to get a planter. Um, again, I can fund it with the horses. That's fine. Um, and it's going to be for sugar beet, which is going to be piled here. This is going to come round all the way to the corner, then down the side here to about there, and again across about here. No front. It doesn't need a front. That's fine. Unless, of course, this is the front here. I don't really know at this stage. Because it would be carted straight off the field. No idea. Anyway, thank you for watching, and see you again soon. Bye for now.